We're so confident we're planning to spend the hours of three to five napping. <laughs> I'm going to the shuffleboard court. I'm Sam Sifton of the New York Times, the paper's former restaurant critic and current national editor. The op-ed columnist and culinary impresario Mark Bittman and I are in Charleston, South Carolina to create a spring holiday dinner party, a Passover Easter fusion feast. Charleston is a stunning city, rich with history, both sad and ecstatic, in a region of the country that offers tremendous access to fresh ingredients and regional flavors. We have eight hours to shop and cook before our guests arrive. <laughs> Duck fat. Stressful for me, not so much for Mark. You know what this town is also known for? Madeira. And we're getting a case of wine. I'm a wasp. <laughs> I always do mushrooms with Madeira. I love you. You do with mushrooms. There's a whole bottle of this then. Put them in the pan till they give up their water and then hit them with the Madeira and salt and pepper. I'm going to put that on. What are we doing? I can't remember. <laughs> We're basing our menu on what looked good as we shopped. And this is a great lesson for the home cook. Buy what's fresh, what's in season, and cook it simply. But I have to admit, we're also experimenting a little with some local specialties. What are you doing here, Mr. Sifton? Last time, Mark, we made a lobster stock. Now, we're in South Carolina, in Charleston, and I've picked up at the Piggly Wiggly soda that's called Cheer Wine. Yeah. It's a big southern specialty. It's hard to find outside of the south. And probably with good reason. And then we're going to reduce some of that, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You're going to throw it out. I'm not going to throw it out. It's going to make a delicious so soda. So in the north, you make lobster stock, but in the south, you make stock out of soda. Well, It's yeah, really nice, it might very work. respectful to your <laughs> southern neighbor. It might work. One of the things about southern casual cooking is this concept of the meat and three. When you go to a restaurant, you order a protein, and you get three side dishes along with it. With Passover and Easter in mind, we're trying to do a similar kind of thing. We're gonna do lamb two ways today. We have a, a leg of lamb over here, boned out, that we're gonna do on the grill. And here we're doing a braised lamb. With prunes, apricots, nearly a bottle of red wine, coriander, cumin, ginger, paprika, chili, black pepper, allspice, cinnamon. But what we're really excited about today are these vegetables that we picked up. And uh, those will accompany the meal along with some grits and some other stuff, and it should be magic. It's so much better than anything any Ashkenazi ever ate at Passover. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that we've used a couple different fuels here. Kingsford briquettes, which barbecue snobs will tell you is nasty, and, and then we've got some charcoal there, and then these great pecan husks that we're gonna use as well for flavor. Of the two lamb dishes, the one we did upstairs, it's fail safe. Here, the stakes are a little bit higher. High risk, high return. Sam, we have a completion of a dish. No way, what do you got? Braised carrots and parsnips, really beautiful. That just needs parsley and it's done. Mark has not learned a damn thing from me. What I've learned from Mark, though, is just be cool, be patient, it's okay. Everything's gonna be all right. I've always said if I write his biography, it'll be called Largely Unattended. That's his favorite kind of cooking. Just let it, set it, and forget it. It's great. And what about your Gaiusha white sauce? Giving up on that? I feel like in the face of the Sephardic opposition, I mean, like, how can you top that, you know? <laughs> I'm making these sweet potato fries. We've got our duck fat to oven roast them with. I'm working on the rice pudding. And I don't know what else we got going. This is Sam's ham stock, which I guess we're using for grits. They have them at Piggly Wiggly. Got them at the pig. Geechee Boy. Geechee Boy Mill. So I reduced this cheer wine soda for hours, and it's now turned into a candy. And it is um, <laughs> totally not a You can reduce lobster stock, but it's very difficult to reduce cheer wine. And here's our feast. A salad of market greens and watermelon radish with a buttermilk salad dressing, shrimp Mark's way, which is to say the Spanish way, 
our lamb two ways with braised root vegetables and grits and rice pudding for dessert. Great to be in Charleston, South Carolina, a city I really love a great deal. Cheers to you all. Thanks very much.